Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I want to run you through this cute little note card. Fiesta, like there's no manana. We're coming up on Cinco de Mayo and I thought, what a fun bundle to showcase from the retirement list. Stampin' Up! is in its retirement period right now and I um, just recently treated myself to the um, birthday fiesta bundle. I just think it's too cute and um, Birthday Fiesta Bundle is the Birthday Fiesta stamp set and the Fiesta Time Framelits. And I really wanted to own this set for my own um, personal use in the future. I love this streamer die cut. This is good for every single birthday card you'll ever make. It's fantastic. We've got all these fun little pennant shaped dies. Um, I love cactus. I don't know why, but I love this. So this set was just me, I bought it for me. And so I thought I would share with you um, a quick card before it goes into retirement. If you want this bundle, you can get it now through May 31st while supplies last at kitchentablestamper.com. All right, besides the um, birthday fiesta, you'll also need, look at these fun little papel piccados. Aren't they awesome? All right, we'll get to the card. Let's talk about our stamping pads. Um, I am using Watermelon Wonder and Cucumber Crush. Watermelon Wonder and Cucumber Crush are 2015-2017 in colors. As of this morning, they're on low inventory, but you can still get the in color ink pads as a bundle. I'm also using Crushed Curry and Bermuda Bay. And our consumables this time are super easy. We've got a Whisper White card base. It is um, four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. I've got another piece of Whisper White that is four by five and a quarter. And then you'll need some scraps for stamping and die cutting. I have a piece of Whisper White here that's about an inch and a half by two and a half. I got a little scrap from the scrap and that's about an inch by an inch. And then I've got some longer pieces. These are for our stamping and die cutting. I've got some longer scraps just from the scrap bin. Um, these are an inch wide and I don't know what they are, six and a half inches maybe. I don't know that they need to be that long. We're gonna use it for our, our little papel piccados. So inch long scraps, what you've got from the scrap bin will do. All right, let's get started. It's a lot of stamping and die cutting, but really cute card. Um, get my stamp and pierce mat and ink pads and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna do some stamping and then die cutting, some die cutting and then stamping. I recommend that you stamp the cactus, the flower, and then die cut them. But for the papel piccato, the banners, you're going to want to um, die cut them and then stamp them. So let's do our sentiment, our cactus, and our flower. And then we'll get the big shot. So the fiesta sentiment, Get stamped on the four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock off center at the bottom. You're going to stamp it toward the right, about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. I love the clear stamp for perfect placement. We're also going to ink up the little cactus image with Cucumber Crush. I love this color. I will miss it so much. Look at how beautiful that color is. All right. And then I have the little flower and we're going to ink that up with Watermelon Wonder. Another great color that's going to be missed. Get them while you can. All right. Now I'm going to get the Big shot, and we're going to die cut these two images and our banners. So I'm going to leave my ink pads open and just move them aside because we're going to be back to stamping in just a minute. Okay, I'm here with the big shot and the magnetic platform, and I want to take my whisper white scraps. I've got two of them, one inch wide, and they're stacked up. I'm going to put these little rectangle banners on top of those two. And then I've got one one inch scrap and I'm going to put the little semicircle banners. I'm 
also can fit my cactus and my flower, so I can do all the die cutting for this card in one pass. Okay, I'm back with all my bits. My die cutting is done. I've got my die brush here. I'm just going to really lightly in multiple directions. Lightly is the key so that you don't get the bristles caught and bend them. I'm going to take out my little banners that cut two layers, no problem. There they are. And then my little semicircle banners here. Oh, there they are. All right, so we can move these out of the way and finish up our stamping. Okay, I'm back here and I have my little semicircle papel picado, and there's a detail stamp and a solid stamp. What we want to do is we want to make a multicolor um, banner. So how I did this was I started with my lightest color, so my crushed curry, and I stamped the detail, and then I skipped for the cucumber crush and the Watermelon Wonder, and the Bermuda Bay, and then I stamped again. So two of them are going to repeat. And then I stamp off and move to the Watermelon Wonder. And you don't really have to clean up in between these two colors as long as you stamp off. Now for changing to the Cucumber Crush in the Bermuda Bay, you'll clean your stamp and then Cucumber Crush. And here you can just stamp off and move to Bermuda Bay. And there's our detail. Now once the details are done, we're going to go back in with this semicircle and add color over the details. So first start with our lightest color, which is our crushed curry. We'll stamp off and then stamp over the detail. Repeat that. Then we'll stamp off to kind of clean the stamp and move to the Watermelon Wonder, stamp off, and then over the banner and repeat for Watermelon Wonder. Now before we move to the Cucumber Crush, we want to clean those warm color inks off of our stamp and then pick up Cucumber Crush, stamp off, second generation. Color the flag, and then stamp off the Cucumber Crush, and move to Bermuda Bay. Stamp off, we're looking for second generation. And there's our pretty multicolor banner. Wasn't that fun and easy? It really is satisfying, and that'll make any birthday card more festive. Now we're going to move to our rectangle banners. And the rectangle banners, if you look at them, you'll notice there are three shapes. There's a rectangle with rounded sides, there's a rectangle that comes down to a point in the center, and there's a rectangle with the clipped sides. And there's a different pattern for each of those rectangles. So we want to line those up first. We'll start right here. I've got this solid, and it's got the rounded side. And then its detail stamp is right here. It's got kind of a flower in the center and little dots across the bottom. And then we've got the one that kind of comes down to a point. We're going to use those with Watermelon Wonder, so we put those with the ink pad. And then the one with the clipped sides here, we're going to use the Crushed Curry for that. And it's got kind of the fan shape with the corner details. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to do this banner right here with the Bermuda Bay first, and then we'll stamp the second string a banner with Cucumber Crush. Follow along, I'll show you. So we're going to start here with this one that's got the, the straight sides. It's not the one with the rounded corners there. So we'll get our detail and stamp that on. And then we're doing a pattern of three. So then we'll do Watermelon Wonder and Bermuda Bay. Skip those and add a crushed curry. Watermelon Wonder in Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to pick up the solid stamp, stamp off, and make those nice and colorful. All right. Then we'll repeat the process with Bermuda Bay. Get the detail and stamp in 
the banner. Isn't that pretty? You can do it without coloring it with the Bermuda Bay over top. It's a pretty little flag right there. All right, and then Bermuda Bay and stamp off on the solid image and stamp over. And lastly, we're going to get in here with the Watermelon Wonder, and this one kind of goes to a peak at the bottom. Sorry if my head's in the video. i got to get right over it so we can get those dots right in the scallop there. We'll do that one twice. And then ink up the solid image and stamp off, and then color over the details. away from me. Okay, so there's one string of banners. Now let's do one with Cucumber Crush also. And then last, we've got our little Cucumber Crush. I love this color. I'm going to miss it when it's gone. It really is the closest to a true grass green that Stampin' Up! has. I think there's going to be a hole in our color when Cucumber Crush goes away. All right, now we're going to color over. And our last little flag, and we've done three strips of Papel Picado. All right, love that. Now it's time for us to assemble. Let's get these ink pads out of the way. I'm going to adhere this little watermelon wonder flower to my cactus and kind of make these guys one piece. And then I'm going to put quite a bit of dimensionals on the back of this four by five and a quarter panel because I wanted to create a little extra dimension since we had so much whisper white going on, but I don't want it to cave down in the center. So I'm not going to remove the back from my dimensionals yet. First I want to build my card front because our banners are too long and we want to be able to trim them before it's attached to the card base. So let's position our cactus so that we know where the rest of our open space is. I want to cut these in half because a half a dimensional will do at the base and on each of these little arms. Okay, I've removed all the adhesive backs from the dimensionals and I want to position my cactus right above the T. Now, I did not anchor down the little flower yet because I want one of the banners to go right behind. And let's look at position for these banners now. I want them to kind of zigzag. Let's get a bone folder. Now, we're going to use the um, round end of our bone folder here and just roll these flags because in real life, the papel picado is almost like tissue paper and it'll really sway with the breeze. So we want to make these look like they've got some movement and rolling them along the bone folder will do that. And we're going to trim off these two end flags. Okay, and I want a little bit more curve on my little flags here. There we go. Then multi-purpose liquid glue and you're going to do the tiniest little bead of liquid glue along the string here. Okay. And position it on the card at an angle. Then you can lift the little cactus 
and tack down. There we go. That creates kind of a 3D. The banners are definitely behind the cactus. I like that. All right, then I'm also going to do the same thing for this one. I'm gonna clip off these little, now this is a really cute way to decorate the inside of your card. So hold on to those couple of extra little banners. And we want that one to go from the top corner and swoop down, but let's use the bone folder on these little banners and give them some life. You're gonna have to do this pretty delicately because you don't wanna break that tiny little string that's holding them together as a banner. And you don't want to crease them either. You want them to roll. So take your time and be gentle. All right, now more multi-purpose liquid glue along the string here. And remember from this upper corner here, down I'm just kind of swiping away any glue that might ease out or ooze out over the top. Cute. Last one. Now here it's going to get a little tricky. We're not just cutting off the end two flags. We're going to cut the red ones off at the edges. So grab your bone folder and first your trimmer or your scissors and just snip off that last one. And snip off the edge there. Grab your bone folder and roll these guys up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way my little flags curl. And we're going to adhere them with multi purpose liquid glue. Okay, now we want these to come up from this corner into that empty space there and they're gonna cross over this set of banners. So we'll start in the corner here and tack it down to the card. Now here, we're gonna tack it down to the yellow banner that it, this little crushed curry banner that it covers. Tack it down and then again, hold it so that it grabs the card. If you want to, you can put a little dimensional adhesive behind this crushed curry flag and that'll give you even more dimension like it's blowing in the wind. All right, then you'll turn over this panel and snip off any excess that you see sticking out. So the little tails of the banners, that one little flag, here's where you give it a haircut. Okay, so it's a nice clean rectangle, flip it. Now we're ready to assemble the card. Okay, so I've exposed all that adhesive, and now I'm going to just center, make sure my card opens on the top. I'm gonna to center this whisper white panel inside this whisper white card. There it is. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness, I love this stamp set. It was a gift to myself. I hope you like it too. If you want it before it's gone, it's on the Stampin' Up! retirement list. You can get more information about Stampin' Up! ordering products or about this card. There is a printable project tutorial on the blog, kitchentablestamper.com. Look, if you're watching on YouTube, you can look in the detailed description for a direct link. If there's anything that I can do for you, email me, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Thanks for watching.